an insurance strike. But the insurance company's stranglehold on us is so complete right now that lives would be risked. Lives would be lost by the very act of protest. What parent could risk the cancellation of their child's insurance? What adult could risk giving his insurer the chance to claim that everything wrong with him on the day of an insurance strike was now suddenly a pre-existing condition? Even as the payouts move inexorably downwards to being less than what you have paid in over the years, we are such serfs to the insurance companies that just to invoke the true spirit of the founding of this nation is to give them more power, not less. So I propose tonight one act with two purposes. I propose we, all of us, embrace the selfless individuals at the National Association of Free Clinics. You know them. They conducted the mass health care free clinic in Houston that served 1,500 people. I want a health care free clinic every week in the principal cities of the states of the six senators key to defeating a filibuster against health care reform in the Senate. I want Senators Lincoln and Pryor to see what health care poverty is really like in Little Rock. I want Senator Baucus to see it in Butte. I want Senator Ben Nelson to see it in Lincoln. I want Senator Landro to see it in Baton Rouge. I want Senator Reed to see it in Las Vegas. I'll donate. How much will you donate? We enable thousands of our neighbors to have just a portion of the bounty of good health. And we make a statement to the politicians, forgive me, William Jennings Bryan, you shall not press down upon the brow of America this crown of insurance. You shall not crucify mankind upon a cross of blue. We think these events will be firmed up presently. You'll be able to link from our website. Trust me, I will remind you. Because in one party, in one demographic, in one protest movement, we are all brothers and sisters. We are united in membership in the party that insists that every chance at life be afforded to every American seeking that chance. We are united in membership in the party that insists on the right of everyone to the startling transcendent blessings of the technological advance of medical science. We are united in membership in the party that is for life, that is against death that is for lower premiums, that is against higher deductibles, that is for the peace of mind that can be provided only by the elimination of the fear that cost will decide whether we live or we die. Because that's the point, isn't it? It is hard enough to recover, to fight past pain, and to stave off death if just for a season or a week or a day. It is so hard that eventually, for you, for me, for this president, for these blue dogs, for these protesters, it is so hard to recover that for all of us there will come a time when we will not recover. So why are we making it harder? On behalf of both of the Obermans, good night and good luck.